for round three. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do it. Welcome back to Eddie B TV. I am, of course, Eddie B. Nice to see y'all. And we are back again for another reaction video. And uh, for round three of this uh, Music Saturday, we are going to get into another one from Robert Palmer today. All right. Well, um, it's been a little bit since I got me to a to a, since I got to a Robert Palmer song. Uh, the last one, actually, the first one was um, "Addicted to Love," and then the most recent one that I did was uh, "No By Now." Now, I like "Addicted to Love." It's a very catchy jammer, and uh, it was just like really fun to get to. It's an old school type of song, but uh, the one that I did uh, "No By Now" for some reason that caught me a little bit more, you know, and. Um, I've added that song to my collection, man, and every chance I get, I jam out to that one because it's just a nice jammer. So yeah, we're gonna get into another one from Robert Palmer today, and this one is gonna be titled, Mama Talk To Your Daughter. Hmm. Now, I don't know how to pronounce where this was performed at, but I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a shot. If I'm wrong, just somebody school me on it in the comments, I don't care. But it says, uh, performed at Melly Mellow. Yeah, okay, I don't know what that is, but uh, somebody please school me on it because like I said always on this channel I'm here to learn you know just as much as be entertained so yeah man just keep that in mind before you want to make fun of me <laughs> so yeah man we're gonna get into this one like I said and this one was suggested to me by another one of my very loyal subscribers and I'm going to shout him out today Kevin Dobson thank you so much for the suggestion man uh, you gave me this request a while back man and you said you couldn't wait I know it's been a little bit but, you know, I had a lot of other stuff to get to, and I just didn't want to keep doing the same things so close together. So I hope you can understand that at the very least, man. You know, and I'm, I'm glad I'm finally able to get to it. Um, Robert Palmer, even though I knew uh, the song Addicted to Love a little bit when I was um, younger, I didn't know all the lyrics to it, and I didn't know exactly who sung it. You know what I mean? Because I just didn't pay attention to certain genres of music, you know, admittedly so. But uh, I've enjoyed the couple of tracks that I've got to from him, and uh, I'm glad to be able to get to this one too and see what he's talking about. So thank you very much one more time, Kevin Dobson, and uh, we're going to go ahead and get into it, like I said. So uh, Robert Palmer with uh, Mama Talk to Your Daughter uh, performed at Melly Mello. And if you like this reaction, please put him on the like button for me one time. Subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and uh, leave a nice comment for your boy. Please, I would really like that. Constructive critiques, leave a nice suggestion or a request and uh, throw a couple zingers at your boy. Friendly dialogue, no drama here. And uh, please remember that, please. I know I'm gonna say it every time, man, but you know, some people just don't get it. So I have to keep saying it. So yeah, that's what it is. Well, a couple of jammers that I've gotten to so far, man, and they've uh, been pretty good ones, if I may say so myself, man. And uh, I'm always glad to get to some new stuff and um, continue to be serenaded, entertained, and amused, and every other emotion in between, you know, no matter what it is. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get to it. Stop the talking, shall we? I know, I yak too much. Uh, Robert Palmer with uh, Mama Talk to Your Daughter, uh, performed at Melly Mello, right here on Eddie B TV, round three of this Music Saturday. Let's close strong, everybody. Let's have a good time. Oh yeah, man. That's what it do, what it do. All right, let's get situated with this one here, and here we go. Well, we got one more trick up our sleeves. Uh-oh. It's in B-flat. He sound like he gigging right now. And we're just gonna go for it. Okay, go for it, I'm here, I'm here. Okay, I'm already here. Mama, mama, please talk to your daughter about me. She and me have been in love, and I ain't gonna need a baby. Oh, okay. Did you talk to your daughter? Talk, talk. Did you talk to your daughter? Talk, talk. Did you talk to your daughter? Talk, talk. <laughs> Make it beautiful. Uh. Oh yeah, get that guitar, man. Go ahead. I ain't gonna say no quitting that you won't dock me around. I ain't gonna say no quitting that you won't dock me around. And you dock me around, Jimmy. Let's be on the ground. Oh. Hey! You talk to your dog. Talk to your daughter. Talk to your daughter. Talk to 
like this. <laughs> Okay, you know what? That one was definitely a change of pace. You know, I mean, I'm not too familiar with Robert Palmer anyway, except a couple of the songs that I've heard. But uh, yeah, that was nice, man. I I was gigging the whole time. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> All right, y'all. That was Robert Palmer uh, with uh, "Mama Talk to Your Daughter" uh, performed at Melly Mello. No, please, someone, if I got that wrong, some school me on it. All right. Well. Um, like I said, you know, I don't necessarily prefer live performances, but that one was pretty good, you know, and the one I did before with Christina Aguilera was pretty good too. Well, um, what to talk about with this one, you know, it, it, um, the lyrics uh, were very repetitive, you know, but that wasn't too big of a deal. But what I gathered from this one was pretty simple. I mean, yeah, my face lint. Uh, <laughs> this one seemed pretty simple because I think it's a very traditional, uh, very typical traditional thing that goes on. You know, uh, to all the parents out there, man, if you got a daughter, you already know, uh, uh, especially for the on the father side, you know what I mean? Um, your daughter's going to do pretty much everything the opposite of what you want, and uh, it's just going to be uh, a lot of trying times, you know? Um, I'm not saying it just falls on the ladies, you know? The fellas are pretty impressionable, too, but... Um, there's been a couple of times that I've been with some females in the past when, when I got with them, their parents looked at me and was just like, uh-uh. <laughs> because I was just a carefree spirit, you know, I didn't really take so many things seriously. And uh, I just was, I was more focused on having fun than, than just being this, this, uh, this structured individual who just had like career plans and stuff like that. I don't discourage anybody who's got a passion and is following their heart and their dreams and all that. In fact, I salute you and I encourage you to keep on going with that. But, you know, sometimes for certain people, that um, that structured way of living doesn't always cut it. You know, some people got to just, you know, bust out of themselves and just spread their wings and fly. You know, they just got to do their own thing. And that's the kind of person I was, you know, and a lot of parents didn't take me seriously and they thought that it was going to drag their daughter down. So I think in essence, that's what this song was pretty much about. You know, just talk to her about me because, you know, 
she loves me, you know, and she made me love her, and I ain't gonna leave her be. You know, I, I like the how this uh the lyrics were constructed in this one. It was really nice. Um, the first one uh, that I got to from Robert Palmer, "Addicted to Love," you know, uh, he likes to really tell heartfelt stories, you know, mixed in with some like lessons, you know, that you're not really paying attention to unless you're really, really into it. But um, that's what I get from this guy, you know. He's having fun up there doing his thing, but yeah, he's still schooling you on some stuff. And that's what um, I've come to appreciate from the uh, now third track that I've gotten to from Robert Palmer. I think that if you, I think this is also real that uh, parents out there, if you try to um, halt your kids from doing what they want, uh, they're just going to rebel against you even more because now they're thinking, Ugh. You trying to prevent me from doing stuff. That means there must be something behind this that I need to explore. So the hell with you, mom and dad. I gotta handle my business right now. You know, I'm I think um, you know, the the reverse psychology does kind of help a little bit, but then sometimes I might actually go against you and you they might, you know, just go further and further away from you. But then again, that's like the um, the, the the confliction when it comes to parenting, you know, at least from what I've gathered at least. You know, I, have, I don't have my own children, you know, but I've raised a lot of other people's kids. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you try to offer people some good advice and all that, or at least not much as advice. It's just like, you know, your opinions based on your experiences and hope, hopefully they can uh, learn a few things from it. But for the most part, people are going to have to crash and burn, you know what I mean, before they uh, get the point. And that's the unfortunate part, but it's also, at the same time, the fortunate part as well, you know. A lot of people always seem to think that just because you have a good plan in place that everything's going to go perfectly. No, things are going to go bad before they get good. It's the whole meaning of life, at least from what I've seen. Even from the most successful people that I've heard of or seen in my, uh, in my own life, you know. It's just, why is it? that learning lessons is something that we need to do, but at the same time, it's one of the more discouraged things that we also just like, we just don't pay attention enough, you know? We just don't realize what needs to be done. But uh, you know what? I would say this though. Let your children make their mistakes, you know what I mean? And if something, you know, heinous were to try to, you know, present themselves to them, you'd be right there, you know, with a machete or a gun, you know, or whatever. Just make sure you're there to remedy the situation and just be there for them, you know? Because a lot of people tend to think, well, you're going to mess up, that's on you. No, 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 no. It's on you too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A lot of, a lot of parents only tend to seem, uh, only uh, seem to want to, um, take responsibility for their kids' successes, you know, but they don't want to take responsibility for their failures. Parents, man, what the hell is wrong with y'all? That ain't the name of the game. Success, failures, it's all on you. Because I've said this uh, a few times before, man, but I'll keep saying it. Just like Mr. Miyagi said in The Karate Kid, no such thing as bad student, only bad teacher. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So keep paying attention to that logic, man, and I think people could really go a long way, not just as individuals, but also as parents as well. So yeah, man, uh, a great song from Robert Palmer, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut it off right there. Thank you one more time to Kevin Dobson, man. Uh, I know it took me a while, like I said, to get to it, man, but you know, I just got so much other stuff going on, and I'm trying to make sure that I get to everything in good time and uh, just continue to have fun. So yeah, thank you very much for the request, man. I had fun getting to this one. Even from the beginning, man, he he already seemed like he was really getting into this one. You know what I mean? He was just like, ha, whoo, and a, ha, and let's go. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm with that. Because I got the same kind of attitude when I, whenever I want to do something, no matter what it is. So one more time, thank you, Kevin Dobson. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. One more time, uh, Robert Palmer with uh, Mama Talk to Your Daughter uh, performed at Melly Mello. And if you like that reaction, please put them on the like button for me one more time. Subscribe to the channel, uh, ring that bell, and uh, you know, leave a nice comment for your boy. Please do that for me. Uh, constructive critiques, leave a nice suggestion or a request. And of course, as always, you know, throw a couple zingers at your boy. Friendly dialogue, no drama here, and uh, let's keep it that way. Yeah, I know I kind of got a little bit uh, flustered with my words a little bit, but hey. Everybody makes mistakes, right? Isn't that the point of what we just talked about here? Yeah, I'm a fan of the real stuff, and don't you ever forget it. So, yeah, this is going to be Eddie B TV signing off one more again here. Uh, another great music Saturday, man. You know, I was glad to get to these three jammers today. A couple of repeats um, from a couple of artists, and uh, the first one that I got to, man, woo, 
I definitely got to check those guys out TV on the radio, man, because they really um, they really put together a really nice jammer there. And I know they got a lot more. So, yeah, I look forward to getting to more uh, from them. So uh, no matter who I got to today, if you want to hear something else from these guys, lay down your requests and suggestions in the comments and uh, we'll see if I can get to them in good time. You know, I got so much other stuff in line to get to, but um, I'm always uh, checking out requests and um I'm, I'm, I, I let something slide by me once in a blue moon, but you know I'm trying my best to pay attention to everything. So much stuff out there suggested, and uh, sometimes my brain gets on overload, so I can't help that. So yeah, thank y'all for tuning in. Uh, one more time to this one, man. Had fun uh, to get into all these street tracks today, and uh, hopefully you guys had fun too. So until next reaction, love and appreciate y'all. Peace.